Hey, what's going on guys? It's David again. Um, just helping the Honda people out there who have a D16 Y7 engine on there. Um, if they're looking to make just a tiny bit more horsepower for cheap. Um, you would One thing you can do, of course, you can always switch out the Y7 intake manifold, which is this ugly thing right here. For a Y8, which is the bigger, uh, I guess, VTEC engine. Okay, it looks like that after you install it. Um, but real quick, uh, the first thing, if you do want to do that, I mean, they're like 25 bucks at the junkyard, or you can just find them anywhere else. It's a quick little, little upgrade, I guess. First thing you want to do just to get it ready is remove your Y7 throttle body, which you are going to use, but you do want the white eight where's it at you do want that y8 throttle body cable thing <laughs> not sure what to call it but pretty much you remove you remove this from top just like so like right here you would remove a 10 millimeter nut okay from up here remove the nut this thing comes out and there's a spring also that goes with it which is kind of like this okay and you will fit on the you will fit that into the Y7 throttle body it goes just if you're not sure how it goes back it goes like this okay there's two ends of it the one that's flat you put it against the throttle body okay and this you kind of have to just put under let's see it's kind of hard to do <laughs> with one hand but you would twist this way counterclockwise set it on there put the nut back on and you're good to go okay and then you will set that on your Y8 intake okay it's already on there but one thing you also want to have in handy before you start everything is just extra coolant line which is this size right here you grab some from AutoZone or Riley's that kind of stuff buy them by the foot okay and that one where you're gonna use that line for is there's gonna be a, the main water line that goes from kind of in here goes down there all across and there's a fitting in there it's like a little tube that has a water line that goes it goes up and it goes into your throttle body okay so if you look under the throttle body there's gonna be two lines one in the front which is this one right here and there's one back there okay mm, let me see if you can see it okay like I was saying Two water lines that go into your throttle body from the y for the Y7 throttle body. So it's this one right here. This one, the front one, goes from here all the way this way. Okay, so you have no issues with that one. But the one back there is too short. The one right here is too short. So you need to run that line all the way down there onto that water line that goes underneath the the intake manifold. Okay, so you're not going to be able to see it now. But it's underneath you'll see it when you take this out okay and of course you do want a uh, new gaskets um, i prefer of course new gaskets all the time you do want to use the y7 um, intake manifold gasket okay along with the throttle body throttle body one though i did use the y7 okay um throttle body gasket so you want that. Um, another thing is on this one. I'll just show you real quick. This line right here, um, this little breather thing, little valve that goes in there. Um, you do want the one for the Y, the Y8. Okay. So it's pretty much. Uh, let me see if you can see it. It's pretty much this line right here. Okay, and it goes down and it goes down here to the middle and it plugs into this breather okay you'll see it when you get it out but you do want that line from the y7 
I mean, I'm sorry, from the Y8 to connect into that. Throttle body cable, this is the Y7. You do not need a Y8. All you need to do is push it all the way back, unscrew it all the way. Okay, and it's gonna make it a little bit longer. All the way, all the way, and just you could just plug it in. Like so, it's not gonna cost your throttle body to be stay stuck open, like other videos and stuff say. Um, this, like I said, this is from the this it's from the Y7. Okay, you can just connect that into there. The reason I have it like this, this little thing right here, sensor, is so that both lines can reach these lines right here. So what I did, I undid one bolt. This one. Okay, actually this is the one, This I'm using this from the Y7 also, just I don't want to mess up anything. Using this from the Y7, I bolted just one bolt right here with it. And this is how I have it connected, just in case you want to know. This line goes to the back, right here, the Vintec manifold, okay, and this other, it goes down this way, and then goes, I'm going to show you. And it goes into here, okay? So it goes to the back. There's a little thing right here. I'm not sure what that's called either. This right here. So that line will hook up to here. And the, the way I did it, I used these little things right here. Okay, just to have both of them connected. You can buy this also like a O'Reilly's or Nautos and stuff like that. And you put that in the middle like so. Okay. So just like so you would connect these right here. Okay. Very simple. Fuel line. I am using fuel line and just about everything injectors. I'm using from the Y8. Okay. And it comes right up here. Screws right under. The bolts right under so there's no issues there. And of course, also before you start everything, you also want to get the wiring from the Y7 and just kind of split it up just because it won't be able to reach just like how it is. I do have it like this up here, so I went to the middle. It's kind of hard, but you would just put it to the back, okay, of the intake manifold underneath, bring it around, and you have to connect them like this. This connection right here would go into your intake. There's a into intake sensor. Okay, uh, this I I will put the intake sensor in. I know it's a cheap little intake, but I, that's what I had in the garage, so I might as well just use it. I'm not, like I said, it's just my little daily driver, so I don't I don't really mind. Um, this sensor will bring it around. This connection right here, bring it around, plug it in through here. There's gonna be two of them now. So there's this one with the white, what is it? White, blue, and red wire. Goes to the back, okay? And this one on top. <clears throat> this connection right here, just in case you have to go, you have to see which one goes where. Okay, that one goes on top and of course that one plugs into this right here okay and that this hose is the same it'll go all around plug it in through here okay and this connection in the back everything will stay the same if you're using the y7 throttle body and that's pretty much it guys I mean it's, it's a cheap little upgrade um, like I said I'm using this little cheap intake for now but it does clear some space makes it a little bit better looking <laughs> than having that big ugly box along with that over there go just like that um this like i said you would replace all this right here all these hoses remove all that okay just put a little breather right here should be enough make it look a little cleaner i guess okay um looks like that's all that there is to it i mean another thing you can do just to 
get a little more horsepower out of this the Y7 is upgrade your your headers your exhaust manifold this is an ugly thing <laughs> so I'll probably just buy a little cheap eBay exhaust manifold or headers and last thing you can do I mean is always is change the Y8 transmission into the Y7 engine Y8s have, they have way better gears than the Y7 makes it a little faster Alright guys, any questions, just let me know or comment down below. Thank you. Okay guys, sorry I almost forgot. Um, one last thing here, um, on the back of the YA manifold, there's going to be two holes just like that for a sensor that goes to the YA motor. Um, you would have to find just anything to plug these two holes up, these right here. Otherwise, you're going to go out of control with your idle. Okay, or you could just buy a manifold with the sensor attached to it, the one that goes to the YA, and you could just leave it on there. It should be no problem. All right, well, that's about it. Thank you.